What's up guys, my name is Seth Peterson. I am a content creator and pastry chef located in Sweden. To start off, we need to do coffee. So today we're actually gonna test out the new product from Joanne and Eastram. It's called the One Cup Drip Kit. Single portions of pour over coffee. I'm used to do a lot of pour overs, a lot of air press when I do coffee, but to have them single like this and ready to go, never tried so let's try them out so we're testing the brazil fortaleza fortaleza we're testing the brazil coffee at least important test number one do we get the same kind of amazing smell of fresh grinded coffee as soon as i open this zip bag. Yeah, almost the same. I mean, there's never gonna be anything comparing to fresh grinded coffee. Oh, look at it. And we're supposed to sip this one open as well. They really made this dummy proof. So I'm gonna place it like this. Oh, did you see that? Did you see how smooth that just snapped? Wow. To start off, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. To get that bloom. But this is really going to be my morning savior. So this is what we got. It smells really great. That actually is one tasty cup of coffee. I don't consider stop doing pour overs and air press, but I think there's something special. I mean, I could take this kit with me. Friends that I know don't have so tasty coffee and just say that I need hot water. It's a great job, guys. I enjoyed the coffee. Thank you very much. So now let's dig deep into how to achieve sponsors and what do I consider as good sponsors, good sponsorships, and specifically good contracts. What do we look at? To start off, you need to focus on sponsor that suits you in the same area of marketing, in the same business or etc. You need to find some brand that suits you and what you want to do. Then you need to think of what could be your common goal? What could be your goal that you share together with the sponsor for the future? You see, most of the companies use their marketing for growth. And that means for their business to grow bigger and to actually earn more money. Or in some cases, the need to reach out with a message to have greater value and greater trust on the market. So how could you help them with that to achieve what they are looking into? You need to be on the same path and direction. So be smart and think this through before you contact any of your future sponsors. So the thing is that most of the time, it's you who are gonna have to deliver. And it's you who are gonna put a lot of demands and into those contracts you don't wanna end up with a sponsor, which product you actually don't like. So how could we start to earn money from this? I've been in plenty of discussions with a lot of brands. And when it comes to money and when, when it comes to digital marketing nowadays, it's so easy for a lot of brands to just think that everything is for free. I've had long lasting relationships with good brands. I've done so much marketing and put so much effort into all the things that I've created and ending up in the end of the month earning zero. We'll tag you in this post, we'll introduce you to our audience and fine, in some cases, that's just great. Don't get me wrong, I do a lot for free just because I think that it's good for my own personal brand and it's just fun. At some point you need to be a little bit egoistic and put a value on your personal brand. So for example, if you're working in a restaurant or a pastry shop and you're earning money, simply just tagging the product that you're happy enough to use. Hey, that's fine. 
But if you're like me, working with social media, consistently producing materials for customers that they ask me to do, and the only thing that they offer you is products, I can't pay my landlord with chocolate. So what I'm trying to say is that a sponsored deal with exchange of products is totally fine. I have plenty of them. I still have plenty of them now. And as soon as they start to ask for a specific type of material, recipes, videos, photos, that is time. And time means to be valued with money. What's also important to know is that building a personal brand takes time and a lot of effort. I've spent hundreds and thousands of hours not only to get better at pastry but also to get better at creating my own content. So there's a lot of hard work and dedication into growing a business on your own, on your personal brand. And if you have that effort in you and have that dedication, the world is yours. Just go out and take it, create more content and enjoy it. So that sums up my short story of how I consider my deals with sponsors. They are all different. They have different demands, different grows, and they put different amount of money or products into my personal brand. That's it for me guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I'll see you guys in the next one.